flying snakes. There are snakes that fly. Amazing. They don't really fly though. It's like a it's like a flying squirrel. It's more like they're gliding through the air. What, you don't believe me? Well, I've got video evidence. Observe. Oh, that looks like a hoax, Blake. I, that's what I thought, too. It, but it's everywhere. It's on National Geographic. It's in the New York Times. So, so many gliding snakes stories. And I think it's true. Here's what it says in National Geographic. Flying snakes are technically better gliders than their more popular mam mammalian equiv equivalents. The flying squirrel. Better gliders than the flying squirrel. Amazing. And they're venomous, so that's fun. There is a species of flying snake that can be up to four feet long. Um, so that's something to be worried about. There's actually five types of species of flying snake. One of them is called the paradise tree snake. I mean, look at the sky. I'm not scared of that. Maybe I'll be, you'll be spinning a different tune when it's flying at you at 25 miles per hour. These things can fly up to 60 feet. That's like a, a, th a six of a football field. That's impressive. I can't fly a six of a football field, just saying. Usually they jump from tree branch to tree branch. So it's, it's probably fine, but like they can fall on the, on the ground. It won't hurt them. So in theory, they could fall on your head. Could, don't be alarmed, people. These snakes are only found in, in Southeast Asia, so you're probably fine. This is in the news right now because scientists didn't know why they wiggled as they, as they glided through the air. Were they like, oh, does that actually help them, or is that just because that's what snakes do? So you know what, so you know that those, those like motion tracking suits with like the balls on them that they have on humans? Yeah, they put one of those on, on a snake and they, and they tracked its motion as it fell through the air. They found that it does help. The little snakes, it's like a stabilizer. That's kind of fun. They don't know why they, the snakes fly, but they, now they know how. So that's kind of cool. I mean, it's probably like to escape predators or, you know, because it's quicker. I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a snakeologist. Flying snakes are mildly venomous, but they're, they're, rel they're for small prey. They're relatively harmless for humans, so we can all relax. Although I wouldn't want a snake falling on my head, even if it wasn't, if it was harmless. All right, that's all I've got about this. Thanks for watching, I'll see you tomorrow, and in the meantime, look out for snakes.